Hey there, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's Dollar Tree Gold. So as you saw by the thumbnail, we're gonna be doing another walkthrough. Plus I wanna show you some um, home storage decor that I've already done because I did get home a little while ago. But anyway, if you'd like to see what I got at my local Dollar Tree, a lot of it is beauty related, but not all of it, then please keep on watching. So definitely a lot of stuff at my local Dollar Tree. Um, there was some empty areas, which is to be expected, um, but I was able to pick up quite a few nice things. So, okay, let's just go ahead and I've got two bags here. Okay, so I did pick up two of these. It's the non-slip shelf liners, and I actually um, already placed part of one underneath my Keurig. So. This is pretty big, it's 12 inches by 60 inches. So um, I'm also gonna be lining my silverware drawer with the, this one. So got this for $1.25. They have a whole bunch of different colors, but I did like the black, so got two of those. Um, I did end up getting two of these um, little, they, they got like open weave and stuff like that. Anyway, so it is a burlap stretched canvas. So I did get two of these. I'm gonna show you here um, towards the end of the video what I ended up doing with it, but did get two of those. I also did get um, three of the rose gold copper um, squares, like the wire squares. Um, I already did what I was gonna do, so that's already done, but like I said, I'll show you at the end. Um, I also picked up one of each flavor of the Campbell's Flavor Up Cooking Concentrate. So they have caramelized onion and burgundy wine, which I'd never seen these before. And they are good until September 13th of this year. So um, I also picked up a rich garlic and herb. These are 11 ounces, so a lot of uh, seasoning. And then I did also pick up the savory mushroom and herb. For $1.25, I thought this was a great deal. Um, yeah, no, no extra salt needed. I'm gonna be looking up some recipes and seeing what I can do with these exactly, but name brand couldn't really pass them up, so that's what I did. Um, I believe the rest is beauty related, so yeah. Okay, so they did have a ton of name brand makeup, which makes me nervous because like, I was able to pick up some, oh, where is it? I was able to pick up some like Ardell. I was able to pick up also some of the Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks and been hearing rumors about Revlon, so I'm really hoping they're not discontinuing the super lustrous line. So anyway, okay. So let's go ahead and start with, I did pick up two of the Lip Smackers, Lips Don't Lie Holographic Lip Gloss. One is in the shade Berry Beauty. I thought these would be pretty for spring. And then I also picked up the shade So Lit. One's like a dark berry, doesn't have any shimmer. And then even though it says it's holographic, I don't see any shimmer. And then this one does have quite a bit of shimmer, but I thought it was pretty. So I did pick those up. 
And then I did pick up the Lips Don't Lie Watermelon Lip Balm. Um, definitely feel like this is maybe geared towards older teenagers or young adults. Definitely it doesn't look as kitty as regular lip smackers, but I still use lip smackers. I don't even care. I grew up with lip smackers and I still like their lip balm. So I did pick up these three things. And then I did end up picking up the um, Bathhouse Apothecary um, Sleep Easy Pulse Point Perfume. So it has a lavender, um, whatever I can do to help me sleep. Yeah, so I did pick this up. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of essential oils. Not Nothing against anybody that is, I just, I'm not. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Okay, um, we're done with this bag. Okay, I also picked up, this looked really pretty. It is the Maybelline Metallic Lipstick in White Gold. I thought this might be a good option to go on top of a lip stain or another lipstick or something, but I'm excited to try it. I'll do some swatches here in a moment. And then I also picked up this Emma um, Ioni highlighter. Um, it looked really, really pretty, so I did pick it up. All right, so I did pick up, oh, whatever, it's fine. I did pick up three pairs of the Ardell um, Aqua Lashes. Um, I've heard good things and bad things about these, but anyway, so I did pick up this pair. I thought I'd go in and try them. Let me know if you want to see a video on these. They look really pretty. I also got this really pretty, like very uh, wispy looking pair. And really all you really need is water and it's kind of like already pre-glued. That will be awesome. And then, so this is 344 and then this is 345. But they look really, really nice. And for $1.25, even though I got enough lashes to choke a small horse, went ahead and just grabbed it. I did end up picking up two of these because this is my absolute ultimate favorite mask by Freeman and I heard that they discontinued it um, but it's the and you'll probably remember this from old videos it's the Freeman um, apple cider vinegar clay mask and scrub this stuff is spectacular I love this stuff so I'm so glad that they had it on dollar at Dollar Tree picked up two of them uh, one for my stash because this is something I would definitely want to have as a backup it's just such a good clay mask it doesn't burn Follow directions, three to 10 minutes, um, but such a good uh, mask. You can also use it as a cleanser, but if you see this and if you have normal combo skin, oily skin, I would definitely recommend this. It is so good. So, so glad that they had this because I mean, I've got a lot of Freeman, right? But that is my ultimate favorite for sure. Okay, let me go ahead and get all of the lipsticks. So we already, you already know about the white gold. Okay, so I, I believe these are Maybelline, yeah. So I picked up Maybelline Brown Blush. Looks really pretty, I'll, like I said, I'll open these in a minute. Um, I also picked up Naked Coral. Um, another brown blush that I'm gonna just be putting in for a giveaway. And then a Silkstone and Carnal Brown. So picked up quite a few of the Maybelline lipsticks. They're really, really good and I do enjoy them. And then I did pick up, I believe, two, maybe three, three. I did pick up three of the Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks. Um, one is really red, it's a matte. This one is rose wine. And this one is on fire. So three Revlon, which Revlons it's not the most expensive, but they're still seven or eight dollars at a regular store. So yeah, but let me go ahead and show you before we do some swatches. Let me go in and show you what I did with the canvas and the little um, wire squares. So here's that. Yeah, I absolutely love the mesh burlap for doing studs. And then I really like the little um, squares for like it, like it's shown up, uh, doing sunglasses and dangly earrings. So I think that's a great option for some home storage slash decor. If you do have a lot of something that will go onto those hooks or onto the, the little um, wire squares, I would definitely 
go and check it out. And I'm sure people will be using them to do create like projects and stuff, but I thought they were a good find and it was a good deal. I was able to get multiple storage options out of them. So, which is awesome. Okay. So this is the white gold. Oh, that is so pretty. Very, very nude. I love the smell of Maybelline lipsticks. That is gorgeous. That's gonna be so pretty on this on the lips. Oh wow, that is perfect for summer. So pretty. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I know I just did a makeup declutter, but I did want a few new lipsticks. Okay, this is the blush brown. This is the one I have two of. When I I, I felt like this was gonna be like a really pretty nude that a lot of people would probably like. That's why I did pick up two. But. Oh, mm, beautiful. That is so pretty. Yeah, I can see a lot of people loving this and is matte. So a little bit deeper than I thought, but that is so pretty. That is stunning. Oh, beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Cannot wait. Okay, let's do two more of the, um, of the Maybelline and then we'll do a Revlon. This is Silkstone. And this is metallic. Yeah, when they have name brand stuff, I do like to pick some up just because I know it's a good deal. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like a grayish. Yeah, that's like literally like a taupe. That's really pretty. Very pretty. That's gonna be a cool color to play with, like with lip liners. And then let's do one more. This is Carnal Brown. And this is a matte, I believe. Yep. It's a powder matte. Oh, that's pretty. Once again, kind of that 90s grayish color, which is actually perfect just because, oh wow, that's those two are gonna be really, really pretty together. Like pop the metallic um, silk stone in the center of the kernel brown. That'd be beautiful together. Do kind of like that ombre lip. Beautiful, nice. Okay, let's go ahead and do one of the Revlon ones. Um, let's go ahead and do the, let's just do it. Let's do the fire, the on fire. I love the super lustrous line, you already know this. So seeing them at Dollar Tree, I was happy, but I'm also worried. You know what I mean? Hopefully these are just shades that did not sell. Sale, sell, whatever. I don't know. Oh my goodness gracious. Hope I don't have anything in my teeth. I just had a salad for lunch, so. Okay, so beautiful packaging. I don't know what collab this was, but it does have a signature of some sort, so that's telling me it was a collab with somebody. Oh, sorry, I have no nails and I'm trying to get this dang sticker off. Okay, got it. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Look at that. Ugh. That is like the perfect orange red. That's gonna be beautiful if you have like, if you have a darker skin tone, if you're tanner, um, this for like a night out during spring and summer, it's chef's kiss amazing. A nice pair of lashes, some night, some bronzer, a little bit of highlight. It'd be stunning, absolutely stunning. Once again, this is on fire. Beautiful um, red for spring and summer. I think this would look good on a lot of different skin tones as well. Absolutely beautiful. Nice haul on the lipsticks. A lot of great, great lipsticks. Um, and like I said, when you find name brand drugstore makeup at Dollar Tree, sometimes you gotta do it. Let me pick up the Ioni highlighter. Have I tried an Ioni highlighter? I'm not sure. I might have. Um, but the packaging was really, really sweet. So, I mean, this looks pretty, I bet it's gonna be pretty. So, it's not a ton of highlighter. It's soft though. That's pretty, it's very metallic. And they did have a few other shades, so not a ton, but like two other shades. 
I really love their lashes. I'm trying to get more into their makeup, but nice packaging for it being a dollar. I'm just going to go ahead and it's a very, very pretty. Um, yeah, mm, I don't see a ton of visible shimmer. It's more metallic, so which is nice. I know a lot of people don't like a super shimmery highlighter, but that is everything I got at Dollar Tree today. I'm really excited to can finish up my, you know, storage. Um, like I said, I wasn't done doing spring cleaning, just uh, wasn't gonna film them anymore. I'm excited for the little flavor up concentrates. And of course, I'm excited for the lipsticks. So pretty. Yeah, beautiful. Can't wait. But anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, share it, all that jazz. Let me know down below in the comments. Um, if your Dollar Tree has, any, has had anything really, really good, what have you picked up from Dollar Tree lately? I'd love to know down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. I do upload seven days a week, all about budget beauty. So it can be a haul like today. It can be skincare, home decor, all sorts of stuff. So make sure that you do subscribe and I appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start auto playing here in a moment. It might be one of mine, it might be somebody else's, but sit back, relax and enjoy. And I'll see you all here in just a sec.